when you start projects such as Secure Rates for Sweden, which started a year and a half, year and a half ago, uh, but uh, is still running and will run uh, indefinitely, to my knowledge. Uh, I'm working with it on a daily basis. Um, you, you're working with processes over time, so you, you can't really work the campaign uh, in, the, in the campaign sort of way, because you're not starting something in quarter one and ending it in quarter two and then hoping that the campaign was good. You're starting a, a process that over time needs curation, and uh, that's what we also offer at the agency. I do that personally on curators uh, and on the other five clients that I work with. Uh, my role, by the way, is, uh, is a bit is strange. I'm a creative director again. I was a planner for 10 years, and before that I was a creative director. Uh, so I've been sort of in the mixed in the both fields. But at Voluntar, I've been a creative director only for the past four years. So now to uh, the Curates of Sweden case. We have uh, two clients, Swedish Institute and Visit Sweden. Swedish Institute works under the foreign department and our foreign minister, so it's state official. Uh, they promote interest and confidence in Sweden around the world. They do that uh, uh, by uh, educating people in democracy, but also in uh, like ventures and uh, doing like uh, business to business uh, types of things. So it's on, on a high level, more connected to trade perhaps and cultural exchange than tourism. And the other one is Visit Sweden, which is partly private, which is a tourism industry promoting Sweden as a, a good place to, to, to visit. If we look at Sweden, it's up in the north. It's pretty modern, I would say. Uh, but if you go outside Europe, the, we're known for ridiculous things as Moose, Ikea, Robin, Volvo and H&M. Pretty low knowledge, actually. If we look at the volumes, we score top in terms of tolerance. Swedes like to, pride, like to see themselves as pretty average. Everything is sort of organized, toned down, um, not so extravagant. But if we look at the, the World Value Survey of last year, actually, uh, this is two years old, we're like super... Oh, I got lost. Anyways, we're totally off the charts in terms of progressiveness. We have a tradition in Sweden of doing things uh, that makes, makes things available to big masses, be it cheap interior design, as in IKEA, or cheap designer clothes, as in H&M, or free phone calls with Skype, or music for everybody with Spotify, or exchanging culture uh, with Pirate Bay. We've always had the, the idea that we should take something and make it available to as many as possible. It's rooted in our sort of history, it goes back to the way we run our country. Everybody has uh, high-speed broadband accessibility. We subsidize personal computers to everyone, not only the middle class. So we have sort of a, a genuine interest in making things available, and thus sometimes breaking the law, or conventions, or all old conventions. Now, back to Sweden. <clears throat> we do have a brand platform. This was the brief we got. Uh, where the core values are that Sweden is open, innovative, authentic, caring, and with the center world, progressive. So, uh, as volunteers always do, if you remember the possible triangle, uh, we have to prove that in action, which means the purpose is spread progressive values. The action is hand over a national official platform to ordinary Swedes that are not vetted, that are not politically uh, correct in that sense, but represents the vast majority of Swedes. And we do this together with the Swedish Twitter community, which is actually big in Sweden. Um, it took a year for them to stomach this solution, uh, but we launched it on the same night that the Nobel Prize holds this dinner every year. A uh, personal touch from my side, being a pretentious guy. Uh, we started out with Yak. Now, the first eight curators I picked myself because we had no one to start with. So I picked them, and I picked them uh, uh, with an agenda. So I made sure we had liberals, conservatives, Muslims, Christians, priests, homosexuals, you know, just to cover the field. And then after that, they get to nominate their following curators. So we have this kind of pay-it-forward logic. 
he started out uh, pretty, uh, this was his first uh, tweet, and I think everybody understood that this is not a censored controlled account. They do have full control of the platform, and it's not through an app, they actually do have the direct control over the, over the account. And he did what he did, he's a young guy. Uh, made some advertising of some shitty bars. He answered questions on what we do in the long, cold winters, which obviously is masturbation. And after that week, uh, the, the initiative got a lot of intention, attention, of course, um, because of the fact that we let, handed over control 100% and not 95 or 99, 100%. So it, it sort of uh, became a conversation topic on the internet. After that, a, f a lot of other curates have followed. I think we're up to 82 now. Uh, I spoke with the last one last Monday. Uh, and every Sunday and every Monday, I talk to each curator and talk to them and, and give them a silent brief just to keep them um, in a good mood because there's a lot of followers. And some of them have no followers usually, so they become, in, in, you know, celebrities overnight. It has been picked up, as, I sh as, as you saw in the case film on traditional medias. But I thought I'd show you an example outside the case film. Sonia uh, and that controversy is one thing, but we had like 12 controversies since we started. And almost all of the time we've had, uh, with a little help of our friends, we in the project has not had to defend the project, but supporters all over the world has done that for us. So what happened was this guy who was uh, actually a PR guy, uh, in his last hours on the Sunday night, he was like, okay, any questions? But I will block anyone mentioning Assange. Obviously, um, WikiLeaks and Assange has a beef with Sweden because of the, the, he's wanted for questioning in Sweden for sexual assault. Uh, but he's hidden away in, uh, in the Ecuadorian embassy in London, which is interesting. So WikiLeaks is always after the Sweden account because they think it's, um, uh, it's run by the officials. So they were like Googling him on LinkedIn and they found out that his, he has once worked as a PR uh, strategies for the military in Sweden, which he did as an intern for a couple of months, kind of. And uh, <clears throat> since the project tends to be defended of the followers, the, uh, and since WikiLeaks sadly has become uh, perceived as tinfoil hats, uh, in Sweden at least, the hashtag SwedenFacts uh, invent got invented where followers posted interesting facts over Sweden that also was easy to Google, but ridiculed, ridiculed uh, WikiLeaks, such as the most popular dog name in Sweden, that we're not Switzerland, that we killed the cat, and that if you look at the map, if you take away Norway, Sweden would look like a dick. So, uh, in a few hours, thousands of tweets, uh, defending the project, not only humoristically, but also serious. Uh, it's been a good strategy for us uh, to, to have fans that do that legwork for us. So, back again, um, the platform, Sweden being progressive, caring, authentic, innovative and open. I think we could tick all those boxes by actually acting upon a promise instead of doing advertising. When uh, we launched this a year after the Arab Spring, and even though it's debatable how important social media was in that, uh, as it's still ongoing, and probably it's a bit over-exaggerated, there was this feeling, zeitgeist in the air, that social media was a tool for democracy, so it was exactly the right time for a, for a nation to go out and use that exact, exact channel to prove it. Uh, it got a lot of intention, attention uh, in the Middle East, and uh, in China, and actually globally. And real-time direction, it means basically that uh, I'm uh, available 24-7 for the curators' call if something happens, if they want, uh, you know, support. Uh, but it hasn't been that much. 
it's it's more been a, a, a sort of a, a very tight relationship with the clients because there's one from volontaire and one from each of the clients. Uh, so it's a three group, a little group that work very closely together because there are controversies every other week that are not politically correct or perhaps not something you would love to have uh, personally as the spokesperson. But we want to prove the fact that we go to elections every fourth year, so in between that you're actually free to speak your mind. So the guidelines are soft, you're not allowed to break the law. And as I told you, there are two ways to become Sweden. You can be nominated by a curator, or you can nominate you in the room outside on the website curator.com. And uh, then you will be on the list to become a curator. Uh, it spurred a movement called Rotation Curation with other countries and cities and movements handling their, their Twitter accounts the same way. But there are only two official besides Sweden. Uh, and I think it's Vermont and uh, Northumbria. The rest of them are initiatives, uh, grassroots initi initiatives. So that's that. Thank you.